Hello, everybody. As you know, we are in the 21st century, which is the digital age. In this respect, we as teachers should keep up with the latest changes in technology and education in order to make more accessible, interesting and original content. Codorg enables you to create applications in an easy way for everyone. Codorg is used by 1 million teachers and there are 61 million projects available. Codorg is a non-profit dedicated to expanding access to computer science in schools and increasing participation by women and underrepresented minorities. Codorg also organizes the annual Hour of Code campaign, which has engaged 15% of all students in the world. On the right tab, you can see the Sign In button. Input your information and click Sign In. After signing in, click the course catalog. Here you can see several courses for teaching coding for both teachers and students. Scroll down the page. You will see tools and resources for your classroom. Teachers can use AppLab in any course to teach students with more enjoyable and accessible materials. And of course, using AppLab enables you to create a paperless classroom. This is the workspace. Here you can see the demonstration of our application. It's empty for now, but we will fill it in a minute. This is the area that we will write our code. We start with designing our application. Click the design button and here you can see the elements. Drag the elements you want to add to your application. For example, I want to create a button. On this page, you can set the properties of the element. I want to change the background color. You can resize it like this. On this page, you can change anything you want about your element. Now the button is on the application, but it has no function. It's just an image. Let's add a function to the button. Now we switch to coding section. I want to create an event. I want the button to play a sound when the button is clicked. I will drag an action from the toolbox. I drag the on event and place it to my workspace. In here, you have to state the element you want to add an action to. You can see its ID just by dragging the mouse on it. Here it says button 1. You have to write it as it is. I want the button to play a sound when the button is clicked. Now I drag the play sound item and place it in the function section. Here you can choose the sound you want your button to play. Now I click the run button to see if it works or not. Yeah, it works. On the right tab, you can see your projects. We created an application for a listening activity. To share your application, click Share button, copy the link and send it to your students. If this is too complicated for you and you are new to coding, go back to Course Catalog and go to R of Code section. Here you can take a simple tutorial for coding in AppLab. In the classroom, you can run the application on any device you want. 
like computers. Welcome to my house. And you have a nice garden. Smart boards. And phones. <laughs> 